So I wanted to thank you for doing this interview and I was wondering if you could share your name and how you are involved in the BMT process. My name's Audrey Crum and my husband Mike uh, Crum has been diagnosed with AML, acute myeloid leukemia. And through the process of chemo treatments to kill the cancer, he was a candidate for bone marrow transplant, uh, stem cell transplant. Okay, and um, I know this must be very hard on you as a caregiver. And um, being, are you his sole supporter, basically, as far as his caregiver and taking care of him? Yeah, I'm his caregiver. We have a backup, our daughter, if I got sick and had to do something else, she could step in for a little bit. Okay. And what do you feel has been like some of the hardest things or, or even the most rewarding things that you've gone through um, in this process? I guess the hardest thing is just not knowing quite what the future holds. Not knowing how to plan, um, how long. Some things have been surprising, how fast they happen, some things slow, how it happens. And information that we get doesn't always seem to be there when we really want it. So that's been hard. I, I like to plan, so I yeah, know and, what to expect. And you shared with me that you had a different insurance than I have, and so that's been a big challenge yeah, for we've, you. Yeah, we've spent hours and hours on the phone between my husband and I, Mike, and I talking to the insurance companies and trying to iron out how to make sure that they're giving the pre-authorizations or where he's supposed to get his care and why they aren't covering things and why they do between the different drugs that could be prescribed, there's been a lot of changes because the insurance won't cover some things and they cost thousands and thousands of dollars a month. So yeah. we have to make changes in the drugs. And and I know one thing that you shared with me previously was about the app that you use on your phone to look, a, it's an app that you can look for meds for the best prices. Yeah, we use drugs. Our, our good, what is it? Good RX. Good RX. We use Good RX. And okay. We started using that because we realized there are going to be a lot more prescriptions involved in this process. Before that, we used to just call around all the different pharmacies and get different prices, and with insurance and without insurance, because all of them are different, and try to find the best one. A lot of times, we've just paid cash for our prescriptions because it's actually cheaper than the copay. Wow. And yeah. It'll be a ten dollar copay and the drug would be five dollars or seven dollars. I know so. we have Kaiser and one of our medications, the regular price, uh the pharmacist told us is three thousand dollars or I think my husband may have looked up the price of it. It was three thousand dollars and our copay was a hundred and fifty, which is a good deal, but when we first when <coughs> they first gave up. me how much uh, and we had 10 medications to pick up. Yeah, you put that with all the other medications. You yeah, and you're like, in, oh. It makes a big dent in your Yes, it pocket. adds up fast. Um, with Good RX, we also compare the prices that way between cash prices and insurance and found better places. So we actually get prescriptions from three different places. Because it's just because more it's beneficial. The, less expensive in different places. And so we pick the best in Different. Saves money, mm -hmm. definitely. And there could be a big difference between a hundred dollars one place and ten dollars another place. It's amazing. I don't understand why. But. Yeah, that's crazy, isn't <laughs> it? Yeah. So, what are um, some of the positive things that you've experienced throughout a very difficult time? The friends and family and people we aren't necessarily really close with have come through with support prayers, concerns, people that we knew uh, just occasionally visited with through other friends ended up being good friends with their support. Either they've gone through a problem like this or are experiencing a problem right now and we've become sharing our experiences really close. And so relationships and community yes. is really... Meeting people that are experiencing the same problems and and it just feels good to know that there are so many good people out there that are 
giving of themselves to help us. Right. And it, it and it and I know for me when I started meeting other people, a care other caregivers or other patients that are going through this, that it was helpful for me to know, okay, you really aren't alone because I had never been through anything like this before in my life. So every every single step was so different than what I was used to. And I found that that was just so comforting to, yes. to I would get online and watch different videos and blogs of people who were sharing their experiences. And it really helped me get through, a, through some of the medical experiences that we had to go through. Yes. Okay. Even the physician, we had one physician offer to pray for us, and that was really surprising. Mm -hmm. They always seemed to be very um, fast in their wanting to take care of business <clears throat> and move to the next patient. And just taking that few moments that he took to say something was really comforting. Really made a big difference, made didn't an it? Impact. On the on the day, um, let alone the whole outlook. Well, right. I'll never forget that moment when he just stopped a second before leaving the hospital room and saying, may I pray for you? Just wow. And I'll never forget that feeling. Yeah. And I've even stepped outside when my husband was sleeping, when they had the chaplains come around. And I, and they're like, would he like to, you know, speak to someone or pray with someone? And I said, well, He's sleeping, but I'll take you up on it. <laughs> and I would go outside or we'd go to the chapel where it's just nice to have someone there to that cares. And they don't have a particular interest, you know, they don't even know you, but yep. um, they, they care the fact that you're suffering and, and they just want to help in any small way that they can. And it's just so much to be able to um, just unload a little bit and someone say, you know, that is a lot that you're going through. You know, I found that helpful too. Yeah. So is there anything else that you would like to share? Well, I hope everybody that is going through hardships and realizes there are people that do care and you just have to hear and look and they're there. Put yourself out there. Yeah. Be vulnerable, <clears throat> right? Put yourself out there. And if you have any questions, concerns, you're uncomfortable about anything, ask questions. Ask 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 until you're comfortable i think that's a great point doctors nurses family friends you need help ask just tell people that you need help with something understanding something or just ask that's wonderful thank you so much for sharing i appreciate it